Hello, my name is Hen Remnants, and welcome back to another redstone video. In this redstone video, we are going to be doing toggleable nether portals. Now, these are pretty simple. You just on, off. That's the entire concept. We have two designs here today. We have a 4x3x4, four by by four, this one. And then we have a 4x2x4, four by four, this one. This one obviously looks a little uglier because it has some blocks missing and stuff. If you're wondering what those dimensions are, it is four wide, three deep, four tall. This one, four wide, two deep, four tall. If we take a quick look at the redstone, we will see that the on button just powers this redstone and powers this dispenser with, with some flint and steel on it, lying the nether portal, pretty simple. Now the turning off is slightly more complicated. We have a redstone torch on the back of this block. We have an observer detecting that, which goes into a piston, which pushes this observer. When that happens, the observer sends out a pulse, which then powers this dispenser and spews water where the portal is breaking the portal. So let's go ahead and build this thing. Now, now, before we start doing this, the materials will be in the description below, so check that out for all the stuff. Now, let's do this. Now, you're going to need 10 obsidian for the portal. Just build yourself a normal portal without corners. If you want to be fancy, you can do the corners. Uh, we're in creative, so I don't care. <laughs> uh, yes. As you can see, we have the frame of the nether portal. You're going to throw down two dispensers. And then we're gonna throw some any type of blocks you want on top of this. This can be iron blocks, grass blocks, whatever. Around the back, we're gonna throw down a solid block and then some redstone dust on top of that. And we have the entire lighting sequence finished. I know, that was tough. Uh, then you can just throw some, a flint steel in this dispenser and it's ready to go for lighting. For the closing sequence, you're gonna to wanna to put a redstone torch on that block, an observer facing upwards. Come up here, get a sticky piston, and then get an observer facing into the nether portal. We're gonna want a glass block here, iron block here, redstone on both of those. You can have any block there and any block there and throw some redstone on top of that and you're done that is the entire thing now if we grab some flint and steel and a bucket it is completely done just throw two buttons on if you want to label them great if you don't sure light turn off simple as that one thing i really like about this design is that the water doesn't flood everywhere now for the 4x2x4 four by by four nether portal. This one has the same activation for the uh, lighting. Simple as that. And then, but then the shutoff is slightly different. So if we come around back, you see we have the same redstone torch with the observer, with the piston, with the observer on top. But this time he is facing up. After a moment of realization, I realized that this block does not need to be a glass block, and it can actually be a solid block. So, yeah, now you're just missing one block. The observer powers the block, which powers the redstone dust, which powers the block, which hard powers the block, which powers the dispenser, making it dispense water. So, yeah, if you don't mind, if you don't mind a corner missing from your nether portal, and you need it two blocks deep, then this one is definitely the one for you. Now for building it, you got your nether portal outline here. Corners are not needed, but again, in creative, can do whatever I want. We're gonna have the same start as the other one with the two dispensers and then all of these blocks, but leaving that one empty. Place a block down over here, throw down a piece of redstone dust, come over here, throw down a redstone torch, Come up here, place down an observer, piston, observer facing upwards, nope, observer facing upwards, there we go, look into the sky, 
place some redstone dust right there and that is it so now if we just put some buttons on here and pop the water bucket and flint and steel and these dispensers it should work perfectly and the water also doesn't spill out everywhere not unlike the last one but it's a nice touch these will also work in the nether if you just switch out your water bucket for a lava bucket now just proof of concept on off uh as you can see there it is a little bit more spilly once with the lava so keep that in mind and that is all there is to it i hope you found this video helpful if you thought it was and you want to see more of them then hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next one